I know what you did. Hey! You thought you were so sneaky sending a spy into my club. Well, guess what? I found out about your little ploy. So you're not getting any intel on us. What are you even talking about? Does the name Chris ring any bells? Chris? What does Chris have to do with this? Kelsey, I know you don't like the movie club. Well, it's not about whether I like you or not. You're evil. You know what? I can't even right now. Oh, how like you to run away? Listen, Kelsey. I'm not gonna wait for you to grow up, so let me tell you this now. You are the one who created these fantasies of a feud. Our club is not evil, there is no spy, and regardless of how badly you want it, the movie club and I have no interest in your petty delusions. Don't you have a meeting? It really brings out the complex dynamics of the unorthodox family structure. What do you think, River? What? Oh, uh, man, it was steamy. Uh, I just like that beach scene, the one with the hot chick in the bikini. Shit. I had to put the book down, leave a little bit to my imagination. Me too. What book are you reading? That never happens. Whatever. It sounds better than this one. I can't believe you're missing the tumultuous juxtaposition betwixt the character What is this, pretend? Shakespeare? You're just trying to sound smart. What do you know about sounding smart? What are you talking about? You just came because you thought there'd be snacks. Well, there isn't any. Who's the liar now? Who said anything about lying? You're so dumb you can't even follow the conversation. Who'd want to talk with you? Nothing you say is worth listening to. Right back at you, imbecile. Oh, you want to go, Harry Potter? I... I'm not scared of you. Uh, Kelsey? Are you gonna stop this or what? Kelsey, hello, Earth to Kelsey? What? Oh, yeah, just do whatever. You all right, mate? But seriously, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Seriously. Just, you take over the meeting for today, Betty. What? No, it's, it's nothing. It, it's this movie club thing, I guess it's just got me thinking. That damn movie club! We have to do something. Something sinister. Something dollabilical. Revenge! Let's rip their teeth out! No, it's more than just ripping their teeth out. The movie club has tormented me far more than you know. I was just a young lad then. Barely the age of nine. Father had been growing more distant lately. Seldom speaking to mother or I. And then, one fateful night. I'll be back, my dear boy. I'm only going to the movies. And then we never saw him again. Kelsey, I'm so sorry. Silence! Enough of these wishy-washy emotions. Betty! I! Get the hit list! Sir, yes, sir! Now is the time for action! We have lost many soldiers in the war against the movie club, but now we will win! For centuries we have raged against the dying of the sight! The dying of the light! And now we can no longer justify our enemies to prosper! For too long we have let the movie club feel they are superior. They may have Tarantino, Christopher Nolan, Spielberg, and Sia, but we have Daisy Meadows, J.K. Rowling, R.L. Stein, and Charlie D'Amelio. We cannot let these film bros continue to tarnish the name of fine art. We must prove that I, that we are better. Yeah! Time to take revenge! Arson! Biological warfare! Let's disband them. I have connections. It's as simple as talking to the student groups. Great ideas. Who's first?
Kelsey, what are you doing? What are, what are you doing? What do you mean? Chris, pause the movie. Chris? <gasps> Olivia, that's him. That's the spy. You sick oh, son wait, of a bitch. Wait, what's going on? I can't believe you just asked that. Isn't it obvious? Obviously, it's not obvious. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bothered asking. You guys are seriously dumb. This is stupider than in the book when Dumbledore yelled at Harry Potter for putting his name in the Goblet of Fire. That only happens in the movie. Dude? Bro. Violence is always the last refuge of the incompetent. Huh. Isaac Asimov, a man of taste, I see. Hmm. Yes. Wait. Have I seen you before? Wait. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Kelsey, have you been stalking us? Well, what were we supposed to do? You were spying on us. For the last time, no one was spying on you. Nobody cares about you. No one cares? You movie watchers are all the same. So selfish, so despicable, never caring for your families, you lazy, self-entitled pricks! Yeah! And saying, leaving for a night and going to see a movie, and then never coming home, taking all the popcorn and, and, and leaving your wife and son to fend for themselves. You're all the same. You make a family one day and then leave the next. You're crazy. Dad?